Hey, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for CreativeCow.net. Okay, this is a question that pops up very often in the Creative Cow After Effects forum, and while this is going to be short and sweet, it may just save your sorry butt, so here goes. What do you do if your After Effects project file has become corrupt? Sometimes you'll try and open an After Effects project, and After Effects gives you some scary message about not being able to open the project file. Once that happens, that's it. The data is gone. Or is it? Well, sometimes, but not always. Often, and by that I mean more than 50% of the time, I've been able to import the project file into a new project, and everything comes in intact. To do this, make a new After Effects project, and then once you've got it going, choose File, Import, File, and then navigate to your corrupt After Effects project file and click Open. Like I said, doesn't always work, but there's a great chance that everything will come in as it should. You'll notice that all project files and folder structures are preserved, and they're all stored in one folder with the name of the entire After Effects project file. So why does this work? If the project file is corrupt, then shouldn't this be impossible? Well, it's a funny thing about the data in an After Effects project. Not all of it is crucial for animation. In addition to information about keyframes and layers and such, there's a lot of other data in there. Things like how the workspace is arranged for this project, other project settings, stuff in the render queue, information about what version of After Effects the project was made in. The point is that even if any of this data becomes corrupt, the animation is still likely intact. It's just that After Effects can't seem to get past the bad data to get to the good data. So importing your After Effects project into a new project ignores a lot of that data because it's not relevant. Now, I know I don't need to say this, but save often. And don't just save over your old file. Most of the time that After Effects data is corrupted is when you're saving and there's a crash. So if you're saving over a good project and bad data gets written, well, the end. So make it a policy to use a naming convention with numbers. So if you are working on an HBO promo, you might call it HBO promo underscore one underscore zero. And the next save file would be HBO promo underscore one underscore one. Or you can use After Effects' increment and save feature. So choose file, increment and save, and After Effects will add a number next to the file name with the number getting higher each time you save it that way. I know what you're thinking. Do I really want to keep all of these After Effects files on my computer? And I'm going to say, can you really afford not to? Look, After Effects files don't take up a lot of space. They're basically text files referencing footage and noting animation keyframes and effects. You can always delete them later, or to be safe, just move every file but your most recent one to a folder called Older or whatever. Is that little amount of hard drive space worth losing a day's work? I don't think so. Now, jumping back into our subject of importing After Effects projects, I want to mention that I often import project templates that I make into After Effects. If I want to use the same folder structure and maybe a lot of the same elements over the course of a long project, I can create a template project with all of that stuff already set up and then just import the After Effects project. Then pull all of the folders out of their project folder and get rid of the project folder altogether. Now it's a regular After Effects project with my folder structure and my files nicely organized. You may be asking why I would import the template rather than opening it. Easy. Importing is non-destructive. Since you're importing the template into a file with a different name, maybe for now it's just untitled.aep, if you save the project, After Effects will not overwrite your original template file. It has a different name, so you're not in any kind of danger. If, on the other hand, you open the template file, then do some work and then accidentally click Save instead of Save As, well, then it's time to make a new template project. Finally, another great reason to import After Effects projects, overnight or batch renders. If you're working on several projects at once and want to wait until the end of the day to render everything, just set up your renders in your final composition for each project as you normally would, then save the file. Later, when you're done and ready to render, import each After Effects project. If you check your render queue, you'll find that all of your renders are there and ready to go. All you have to do is hit render. So what life lesson can we take away from this tutorial? Always wear clean underpants. It may not be relevant to this tutorial, but I think we'll all agree that it's just good advice. Once again, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for creativecow.net.